The real question is whether you can regard these differences within a framework of progress in the sense that some cultures or features of culture are better than others. I mean, the real question of, of cultural relativism is, is one whether you think progress implies, as you said, an underlying, an, uh, an underlying innate sense, for instance, a sense of justice, or whether these uh, cultural choices are wholly arbitrary, with so, none so, being better than it. But I mean, that's the real issue with cultural uh, and, relativism. But, see, but whatever you believe about that, there is a fixed basis. There must be a fixed basis. Otherwise, you can't acquire a culture in the first place. No, but and that fixed basis has to be determinative, narrowly determinative. Now, that fixed basis gives our actual human cult, uh, uh, moral values. Now, if you, take a, if you raise the question about progress, yeah, I think there is progress. And I think it's valuable to look at our own history. So we're not talking about uh, imperialist conquest. Our own history shows uh, that there is moral progress. And in fact, the very examples that were given strongly illustrate it. Slavery, subjugation of women, repression of homosexuals, all of this was in very common, perfectly well accepted in Western culture, not very far back. Uh, in the case of, say, Turing, it was 50 years ago. It's now all regarded as uh, completely unacceptable. And I think that's evidence. You know, it's not in human, uh, discussing human affairs, you don't have proofs, we don't understand enough. But I think this is, uh, and there's much more like it, is evidence that uh, somehow, uh, as our own uh, uh, history, uh, culture develops, we penetrate more deeply into our actual, real, uh, cultural, and norm um, normative values. And uh, we expand the moral sphere to, in fairly definite ways. Uh, these three examples are, uh, are good illustrations of it. There are plenty like it. Yeah.